What is go that? Ahead, go ahead and this. Oh my god. Yeah. I'm CL, I'm here with Ben Baller to talk about some jewelry. GQ on the rocks. Thank you for being here. Come on. <laughs> Anything for you, especially when it comes to jewelry, you know, this is like... Yes! Do this in my sleep. We need, we, we need you to preach. So yo, let's talk about some jewelry. Yes. I'm going to go first because I know yours is better. <laughs> I brought in some vintage jewelry. This is actually a Chrome Hearts collab that 21 did. Yeah, we had a whole line. That's a big flex. I've known about Chrome Hearts for like 30 years, you know what I mean? So right. Like, when they, they did it, I was like, okay, they're bringing it back. And it's like, you don't ever see K-pop or Koreans dictate fashion. But like, in that era, when I went to go visit them, they commanded and dictated fashion. And these are what I wore for my first solo. Music video. Was that the GZB? Yes, <laughs> it's that video. So I brought in this. I got these done in Japan because there was no one. You weren't there in Korea, first right. of all. There was no one in Korea that did grills back then. Mm -hmm. So I had to go to Japan and get these done. Yeah, I haven't put these on since back then. I ever. bet you they don't fit because you know your, your teeth shift. Even after a Does year, it? Shift. Yeah, they shift. If they do fit, they're gonna, it's going to be tight. Damn. Okay, that's a wrap. I can't wear it anymore anyways. Let's let's start off like small. So two years ago, I did my third official collaboration with Takashi Murakami for Complex Con. We decided to do something fun. We made uh, six pieces, three black diamond Murakami flowers, and then we did three alternate rainbow Murakami flowers. They were 50 grand each. They went on sale at 12 o'clock. By 12.01, all six were sold out. Where then, was I? I don't know. <laughs> the Thanks thing for is, the invite. <laughs> it's like, hey, Sap Rocky. Hey, you bitch. Did you really not hold me one? Yeah, like, like what, what the, the fuck? And then like Kid Cudi, somehow, some way, he got both of each ones. And then, uh, he, how did he get it? I don't know. And then we waited till five o'clock to where me and Murakami were doing our walkthrough of the show. And I brought out this thing and it's called the Flawless Flower. Oof. And it is all VVS one, which is pretty much the highest quality that you could buy as far as parcels and stuff. So this is VVS one D color. This is the best of the best. And on top of that, it spins. The funny thing is, this is an artist proof because the collection's already sold out, meaning this is my personal piece for the store mm. so that I can pass down to my kids or who knows. So no, these, it will I be passed know. down to CL. Yeah. <laughs> it passed down to CL. So yeah, it was sold quick. The Prince of Korea, he ended up buying um, the, the one of one. There was only one. And it was 100 grand. It was anonymous. I didn't know until later. And I was kind of, you know, mm. just what it is. I'm very happy that a Korean person bought it. So I collect vintage Chanel jewelry. And these are from the 90s. I think this is like the year I was born, 91. This one and this one. Did you ever wear any of this in front of Karl Lagerfeld? I think I did. Nice. Yeah. Do you, you remember your glasses this? you had when we mm -hmm. were in New York? Yeah. And you were wearing the original Chanel circle glasses? Yeah. You only paid like a couple thousand for it, whatever. Mm -hmm. I've seen people pay 15, 20 grand for them now. What? Yeah, it's crazy. Vintage Chanel is insane. I remember that day we met Pharrell. He, he was wanted like, yours. I exactly. He was like, <laughs> he was like texting me, where did you get those? And yeah. I was like, I got the last one. And he, I think he went on and found another one. He paid but... a lot of money for them. Though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah he had them. That's a big flex too, because you know, skateboard P is always He knows good, no. it's Chanel. Yeah. Do you have a favorite? Uh, my favorite would probably be this right here. This one? Yes, because I would wear that. That right there already enhances my entire outfit. Yeah. That enhances my entire swag. Mm. Like, I could throw that on and people will be like, if you know, you know. Mm. You know, mm. so that's just, it's definitely my favorite for me. Mm. CL's always got, she has the freshest style, man. Enough about my pieces. <laughs> I want to go into your crazy pieces. <laughs> we need to talk about this. So this was my first custom F you. <laughs> I'm rich now, I made it, I'm a jeweler. Like we were the first independent brand to hit a quarter billion dollars. So we all had crazy pieces. And there is a thing called the Magic Trade Show every year in Vegas, that's where everyone goes. And I was like, yo, 2007 dog is Vegas. Like I'm about to come really clowning. So I made this state of California because everyone from all over the world comes. So you heavy. Know, this is like 16 pounds. 330 carats. This is the state of California. There is a 3.23 carat for LA. You know the area code for LA is 323. And there is 
so almost crazy. 92 carats of ice blue diamonds for the Pacific Ocean. These are all invisible set. These are all canary diamonds, princess cut. It was just more like, let me rep where I'm from. And I remember Kobe, Kobe saw it, he's like, Right? And I remember Snoop saw it. Snoop's like, yo, give me that chain. <laughs> and it was funny, you know? This will actually cut the circulation off your neck. That's why I wear it. If you ever see old pictures of me from that era, I had a, a small little like washcloth on my neck. But I have to take Advil when I, or Tylenol when I, when oh I wear it. Oh my God. So last but not least, this piece is my ultimate masterpiece to date. Right now, it is the greatest piece I've ever made. It is an official entry in Takashi Murakami's art archive. It is for Kid Cudi's birthday. This is the Kiki with a Murakami skull, Murakami flower chain. Not only is this a flower that no one's ever seen before, it was de debuted at ComplexCon. These little flowers here, they and spin. And it spins. You know, this is a $680,000 piece, but you can't buy it because I don't think if you offered Cudi a million, no, he would, why would he sell it? It's his favorite piece. This was like three or four different styles. I had to source these pink sapphires on the Kiki head from Australia. I have amethyst, coral, I have blue sapphires, I have emeralds on here, I have so many different, I have chocolate diamonds on here, I have pink diamonds on here, I have grade A, triple A black diamonds, even on the enamel. It's not machine done, this is hand done. And this thing took me six and a half months to make. And that's with 11 Korean diamond setters. And these guys, they have traditions. The hand making is a big deal because you know we, we, we made it with hand, we didn't use the machine, you know? So it means something to me. My most proud moment was hallmarking my name next to Takashi Murakami's name. It's, it's a pretty big deal. Damn, I was so into like listening to your story right now. I'm Damn. just passionate about it, you know? No, it's, so I, it's so crazy, it's really detailed. I mean, see, even in eight it's years, think how much of my art. life has changed. There's so much competition. There's a million yeah. jewelers in the world. Mm -hmm. If I don't separate myself, further and further, yeah. then I'm going to get buried in with everyone right. else. Right. Did That's you see like... Jeremy Scott's grills I made for the Met Gala? Yeah, oh my God, that was crazy. It looks like the crown jewels. Drop yeah. in the pictures. He has emeralds and rubies. And it's literally probably my most craziest grill ever. Yes. I have an album coming out, October. I know. So after this, <laughs> Cause you weren't there in Korea. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Now this time you need to make me a custom piece. Let's do what that. would be the perfect one? I don't know. What's the name of the album? Alpha. Alpha. So it's gotta be bossy. Yeah, always. You have kind of everything. You have white gold, you have yellow mm. gold. Like, what do you want to do? Do you want to do rose? Do you want to do white? Do you want to do yellow? Um blue diamonds and yellow gold. 22 carat. Yes. Oh my God. That is the okay. alpha vibe. It's 22 karat yellow gold, blue diamonds, Ben bought the chain. You know, I got yeah. you, CL. Don't worry. Thank you, Ben. You're welcome. For your time. And I don't know, just everything. This is crazy. Thank you for watching. Check out my album, Alpha.